with Councillor Andre Rivette, who's running for re-election. Councillor Rivette, you just came out in favor of former Councillor O'Shaughnessy versus Mayor Kilger. He covered a lot of ground, and we've interviewed before. As a matter of fact, the interview that I did with you was, was a big ro boat rocker. Um, do you feel that it's going to affect your your race and the results by supporting Councillor O'Shaughnessy? No, if that's what it, people have to come to understand the problem. Mm -hmm. And the problem is you need leadership to work with council, not give council the information that they want to give them, or, or try to uh, misinterpret council uh, directives. And unless you're very right, I mean, we can't talk about close council stuff, but there is issues that occurred that the, the council directives were just ignored totally. Did you ever consider resigning like Leslie did? No, no, it's, it's not my, you know, I always taught my kids, you know, rougher, I've been married 45 years, we have a lot of ups and downs, so you got to keep fighting. I think it's important, and unless, he, you know, if it was affecting his health at the time, I think it was right for him to do the thing, and, I, you know, we spoke about it, so, and again, uh, as you see tonight with the issues that he spoke about, there was a lot of frustration there, you know, and, and unless he's been around uh, a long time as, as, a, as a political, uh, 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 with the counties and, and politics, and he knows the kind of reports that need, to know the reports needed to make decisions. And that was non-existent. Do you, do you have any personal regrets about this last term, about not bringing more information to the public? Well, I think I think that uh, in 2010, you can run uh, at uh, the Kilgore's camp at, 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 at this uh, get-together. I said that this was the best in, uh, that's, the best council that I ever worked with before. And then in 2010, uh, 2011, January, the whole bottom fell up. Then all these problems started coming. And nobody around that council kid knew anything about it. But these, these problems that had come down were very well known by the mayor and the CAO of the day. But the thing is, is that management is supposed to pour, sort of police the elected officials. Elected officials are supposed to police management to a degree. And of course, the mayor is not omnipotent. He needs the support of at least five five councillors to ram through some stuff. And he had that. And that was the whole thing. Could you name the five? I can't name the court? five. I think you know who they are. There's five that followed him down the word to hell. So without back. naming them, was there a core group of five that pretty much rubber stamped everything he did? The mayor got the support he needed to do what he wanted to do. But was it a consistent group that was giving him that support? Well, I, I, I can't say for sure because I don't know every issue. But, the uh, ones you were present for, did you, did you observe a consistent group supporting him? Yeah, there was a consistent group of following the same, the same you know, they, they believe what he was saying. But I can tell you it brought us into a lot of problems. Would, would you support an inquiry and an investigation uh, into what happened at council this term? No, I don't think that's... You can't deal with... You can't worry about the past game. you got to worry about the future. And right. this is the reason why I'm getting behind Leslie. is because I think that he's... he's a, Going to get, make sure the council has the information and has the written reports needed. And I think that uh, that's the reason why I'm supporting Leslie. And uh, as you say, you know, you feel that you know there could be problems. I don't care. If I, I, Andre's always been there to tell you what I believe in. And after 14 years, people don't know what I believe in, what I did for the community. It's up to the elect elected officials, to the elected uh, people, to decide where they want. We have 29 people running for council this yep. term. Last question. Um, we only had about, I think, seven or six, seven, eight of them here tonight. Yes. Do, do you think more of the candidates should have been here today? Well, I think it's some of the newer candidates. Uh, you know, I, I think there's another event going on for the Children's uh, Treatment Center, the, the Supper, the Rose mm -hmm. for uh, uh, MP Guy Leger, or Guy Lozon, rather. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot there, and it's for a good cause. I decided to come to this because I, uh, and I bought my ticket, but I decided to come to this because I want to make sure that People know the reason why Andre is supporting Leslie, right. and that is the main reason. Okay, thank you.